putting this issue further. Thank you. I call the Honourable Scott Simpson, five minutes in reply. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. It's been an interesting debate, and I want to thank members from across the House for their contributions, uh, well, most of them. Um, uh, this is, as I said in my introduction to the bill, uh, a small bill. It's uh, a very small change to an old principal act that dates back to 1979. And uh, no one, uh, least of all me, would pretend that it is anything remotely close to being a silver bullet in terms of solving the litter issues that confront our nation. But it is a step in the right direction. And so I commend uh, members of the Green Party and the Labour Party for uh, supporting it through to uh, Select Committee. And I'm sure that when we get to Select Committee, um, uh, we'll have a good discussion. Uh, I was particularly heartened by the contribution of the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, uh, who indicated that, uh, in fact, Select Committee could be a place for a wider discussion about litter and litter issues. Uh, and that's a good thing. I'm very happy for that discussion to take place. Uh, but what did disappoint me was the contribution from the Select Committee Chair. Um, she's new to this House. Uh, Deborah Russell uh, has potential, I think, as an MP, but she will soon realise that uh, sarcasm in a speech of the sort that she gave tonight is a very poor substitute for substance, um, and that uh, if she is to make progress in a parliamentary career in this House, then she would do well to um, uh, have a little look at uh, legislation, consider it carefully, and not revert to uh, mere sarcasm as a way of uh, um, uh, debating in the chamber or indeed actually uh, leading the select committee. Um, Labor have come late to this discussion on litter uh, and uh, they're making up for lost time. What we didn't hear in the debate was a commitment at all uh, from the lead party in the coalition government uh, about their commitment to reducing litter. We, we heard uh, uh, talk about uh, waste minimisation, and that's fine. Uh, no one would object to uh, waste minimisation proposals. In fact, the previous national government made great strides, did more than any government in the history of New Zealand in terms of providing for our natural resources and our natural spaces. And so that's a very proud record. But Labor come to this debate about litter, particularly late, uh, and they're, they're in catch-up mode. There was an obscure member whose name I don't remember, but I think he came from uh, Hamilton somewhere. Um, and he... Um, clearly has much to learn. Um, I'm, I, I, uh, uh, my colleagues at some stage will probably tell me what his, what his name was, but he needs to go back to Hamilton, where he comes from. He spoke a lot about Christchurch, and for someone who comes from Hamilton, that struck me as very, very strange. Um, Angie Warren Clark gave a much better contribution, and um, what uh, Angie Warren Clark may not know is that immediately prior to me coming to this house, I was uh, uh, chief executive of a children's charity, Make-A-Wish, um, and we also ran um, shops of the sort that uh, she described. So I'm very familiar with the situation uh, and, and very au fait with it, and uh, certainly on the Labor side of the House, they don't have any monopoly on that kind of background or history. So this is a small bill, Mr Speaker. It's a bill that will be discussed in detail by uh, the Select Committee. I'm looking forward to submissions from around the country. I hope that local government uh, will take the opportunity to, to submit because there are a range of um, uh, uh, levels of enforcement for litter. Uh, many local territorial authorities have their own regimes, their own structures, their own um, uh, ways of dealing with litter. But in my part of the world, in the Coromandel and the Western Bay of Plenty, uh, it is an issue, as it is in many other parts of the country. So, Mr Speaker, um, this bill uh, is a good bill. It's not a silver bullet, but it's a step in the right direction. It's a bill that will, uh, I think, help send a message, a message to New Zealanders that this parliament uh, takes litter seriously, that we have a, a real challenge in terms of changing our cultural approach as New Zealanders to litter and, uh, and actually just not uh, dropping litter. So I want to conclude uh, my contribution at, on first reading by just going back to my original call 
to support this legislation, to remember those slogans that we knew when we were growing up in the 70s and 80s of doing the right thing, being a tidy Kiwi, and that only lazy people litter. Sir, um, I'm very happy that this bill appears to have enough support to go to the committee, and I endorse it to the House. Yeah, yeah. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye.